summer learners! Welcome to STEAM Camp. I'm Miss Nicole from San Mateo County Libraries. You might know me from the Brisbane Library branch, and I'm so happy to have you here today. So before I begin with today's STEAM Camp activity, I want to remind you to sign up for the Summer Learning Challenge at summerlearners.org. By signing up and filling out your summer learning log, you get entered for a chance to win a $1,000 scholarship. How cool is that? So join us at summerlearners.org and keep learning and keep reading this summer. All right, for today's activity, I'm gonna show you something that I recently learned how to do, which is how to make your own watercolor paint from things that you find in your kitchen or in your own backyard or on walks around the neighborhood. So to get right to it, I'm gonna change the camera and pan it down to the table so that you can see what I found. And I'm gonna show you how to make your own watercolor paint. All right, let's change the camera view. So what can we use to make some watercolor paint? Well, what can we find around the neighborhood or in our backyard? Maybe we can find some flowers, some nice colorful flowers, like these ones. We want to try to find some flowers that have really big petals and are nice and bright colors like these. Maybe in your kitchen, you can find some things like I did, like turmeric or yellow. And I also found in my kitchen some blueberries and raspberries. This is, this is a nice bright red from the raspberries and have some blue, a bluish purple almost black color from the blueberries. I also found some red cabbage in my kitchen. And if you have red cabbage, grab lemons or lemon juice and baking soda. And I'm going to show you a very cool magic trick that you can get to get more colors out of the red cabbage. Some other things that you're going to need are also some paper towels or a kitchen towel to help clean up some of the messes that we're going to make today because painting can get very messy and that's what makes it so fun. Um, a big plates might come in handy as well as some bowls and a very big spoon, a spoon that you can't bend, so a very strong spoon too or some cups with the nice flat bottoms, like these ones. And of course, you're going to need water, hot water, to help get some color out of these items, as well as another cup of water to clean your brushes. So two cups of water. And of course, some brushes for painting. And paper. So watercolor is great, but if you have cardstock or printer paper, that works too. And then if you have this in your kitchen, who can tell me what this is? Who, who might be able to guess what this is? It's a mortar and a pestle. So you might find this in your kitchen and you want to ask if you can use it for this activity. And in the kitchen, you use this to grind up some spices and squish things to, to really, really fine powder. All right. So let's get straight to our activity. How are we going to get color out of all these items? Well, let's start with the red cabbage. So I'm going to take a bowl. I'm also going to clear up some space so that 
we have more room on the table. So you'll take your red cabbage and you're going to take some of the hot water. You want the water to be hot enough that you can drink it, like hot chocolate. Mm. So we're going to pour some water in here, just enough to cover a little bit of the cabbage. And what that, that's going to do is it's going to try to help us get some of the color out of the cabbage. And that's what we call steeping, kind of like how you steep tea. And I'm going to take my cup. I'm going to hold it like this. You can hold it like this or with one hand, or you can use both hands like this. And you just press down onto the cabbage and turn. You might want to hold onto the bowl as well. And you're basically going to squish. Oops. Squish. You see, we're already making a mess. And squish out the color because that's what we're doing. We're gonna squish out the color out of all the items that we have here to get some watercolor paints. Cabbage, we're starting with this because it's really, really hard to squish. You gotta use as much force as you can. And if you have to stand up and press down, you can do that too. We're starting to see some color. It's starting to see look a little purpley, like the red cabbage. Isn't it funny that red cabbage is called red? But it looks more purpley than red. Okay. I'm gonna keep squishing. Lots and lots of color. So the red cabbage is going to be nice and a dark purpley color like that. It kind of matches my hair, almost. Okay. Nice and purple. So we're going to let that steep. Take a kitchen towel and wipe down the cup that we used. And I'm gonna put this off to the side and let it steep some more. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other items. So for the berries, now I'm gonna show you how you can get color out of the berries. These are going to be super easy, so you can use a spoon. You want to use the curved edge of the spoon, like the back side, this side. And you're going to press down and go squish, squish, squish. Now I want to mash up the, the berries just like this. And the cool thing about berries is there's a lot of water in this fruit, so you don't need to add water to it. Whereas with the red cabbage, that didn't quite have, it's very tough. So it didn't have a lot of water in it, like the, compared to the berries. So we added water to get more color up for a watercolor paint. There we go, nice and squished. Now we do the same thing with the blueberries. I like to do it one by one. Whoa! The inside is a totally different color. It's not blue. It's like a whitish, whitish gray. Hmm. So sometimes, oh, and now we're getting some purple. So sometimes the outside color of things isn't the same as the inside. And sometimes color doesn't turn out the way we think it would. It makes you wonder what other things you can find and what colors they turn into. 
besides the ones that we can actually see. Did you know, way back then, making paint was really, really hard to do. It was hard to find anything that would show up as the color that it was, that you could see it as. So now this is the, the blueberries are looking a little purpley. Hmm, curious. Okay, how about let's try it with the mortar and pestle. Let's try this with some flowers. So to get color out of some flowers, just like the cabbage, you're gonna need some water because there's not a lot of water in them to begin with. So you're gonna take the petals out of the flower, just like that. And with a mortar and pestle, you're gonna use the big, the bigger side and hold to the hold the smaller side. And you're gonna take a spoonful of hot water. Just enough to help us get some water color game. And you're gonna squish the flowers like this. It's a lot easier with a motor and pestle because it's designed to grind things up into a really, really fine paste or powder. You use this to make some really yummy spices in the kitchen. So that gives us a nice, rich purple. I'll put that off to the side. Okay. Let's try these flowers. So we're, again, we're going to take the petals. And we're going to take a little bit of water. And we'll use the spoon. And again, I'm using the back of the spoon to kind of squish the color out. And we'll squish the color out in the side of the bowl, like this. That's how I do that. And this is giving us a nice dark red. Hmm. I'm going to clean up and let's see what colors we get out of these paints. But first, before we do that, I have to show you the magic trick. So the red cabbage has been steeping. I'm going to take the two bowls that I have. I'm going to start with one. And I'm going to take Spoonful of the red cabbage juice and <laughs> watercolor paint that we made. I'll put it in that bowl. Let's put a little lemon juice in it. Just a squeeze. Oh, did you see what happened? Can you see it? Oh my gosh! It turned red! We went from purple to red with the lemon juice and the red cabbage juice. All right, let's try it with the baking soda. So let's get a spoonful of the red cabbage juice. So that's purple. And when you add a little baking soda, Whoa! It turned blue! Isn't that so cool? So you get three colors 
with red cabbage and baking soda and lemon juice. All right, so I think we have a lot of paint to work with now. Let's go ahead and try painting with these colors. Oh, but now I'm looking at the blueberries. They're starting to turn brown. Isn't that so weird? So some things start to oxidize and turn brown when it when oxygen gets exposed to it, like these blueberries. Isn't that so cool? All right, so let's make some room to paint. I'm gonna grab some paper and some brushes and our painting pad. And let's try painting with the red cabbage first, since that's right here. Move the spoon out of the way. And see what color we get. Whoa, it's kind of really light. We don't see it very well. So it might need more time to steep, to turn a a darker color. So the longer that you let things sit in the water and steep, the more color you'll get out of it. You can also let it dry and then you can put another layer on. All right, so that's the purple cabbage. It's kind of really light to see. Let's try the red cabbage with lemon juice to give us this bright red. But this is also coming out very, very light. Mm. So that might also need more time to steep. Maybe let's try blue with the baking soda and red cabbage. Ooh, this is a nice bluish color that we're getting. It's also still kind of light, but that's how watercolors are like. Sometimes you get really light colors out of it because it's very has very little pigment. So let's see here. Oh my goodness, I just realized I forgot to make yellow with the turmeric. So that one's really easy. You just take the turmeric powder, just a little bit, and some water. Gives us a nice bright yellow. And just mix it up. Turmeric, it's a nice spicy, peppery spice that you can find in curry powder usually. And it gives us a nice bright yellow. Okay, how about our berries? Let's try the raspberries. Ooh, that's a nice bright red color. It's nice and bright. And we'll try our blueberries, which aren't very blue now. They're all brown from oxidization. Isn't that a really hard word to say? So that gave us a brownish color. It's also very light. 
so it's not very pigmented. Now let's try our flowers. And try the red flower, the orange that became red paint. So that's giving us a nice dark red watercolor. There we go. And let's try a purple flower. Ooh, that's a nice dark purple. Look at that. So the more that you explore around your neighborhood or in your kitchen, see what colors you can find. Maybe you can paint some fun things like a flower. You're going to find a lot of brown sometimes, but sometimes you'll find some fun colors like these or these ones. All right, so that's the time for the activity. Thank you so much for joining me today for STEAM Camp. I hope you enjoyed the activity. And don't forget to sign up for the Summer Learning Challenge at summerlearners.org, as well as check out our other STEAM Camp activities at smcl.org slash virtual dash experiences, and follow us on social media at smcl libraries. Have a wonderful day, Summer Learners.